now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the firehouse in beautiful downtown North Manchester. Please put your hands together and make welcome Good Night with Christopher Blue! Hello! And welcome to Good Night with Christopher Blue. I'm Christopher Blue. And like I say every night, we have a wonderful show for you tonight. Tonight, I almost forgot what we're doing, but it's up here. We are talking with one of my good friends and testing his knowledge on board games. He claims to be a big fan of board games. I think he is a fake fan, so we're going to test his knowledge. But we can't test him if he's not out here, so please put your hands together for Game Wizard! How you doing, Game Wizard? Testing, testing, you can hear me? Yeah, good. yeah. That's great. I'm doing good. You're doing good. Just fine, just fine. Great. And feel free to like, just eat that mic, because sometimes it's it's hard to pick up. Like this? Is yes, this good? Yes, just like that, actually. I don't know if you want to sit like this yeah. all day, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna back up. Okay, that might be good. All right. Yeah, don't know my own password. All right, so we're going to test your knowledge. Um, and to do that, I'm pulling up a quiz. This show is chaos, by the way. Don't message me while I'm on my show. This show is chaos. Uh, there's no rules. All right. Game Wizard, you yeah. claim to be a fan of board games, um, a, a big fan of board games, in fact. Um, there have been quite a few nights of D&D, um, and game nights over over with you and our mutual friends. Yes. Um, but I don't think you are as big of a fan as you claim to be. Oh. And um, I'm going to expose you as a fake fan. So are, are you willing to take the challenge? Uh, I, I think I'm up to it. All right. Uh, so question one. This game involves black and white discs and a green grid for a board. If you need multiple choice, I, I can give you the multiple choice. Mm, just, just in case I might be mis misremembering, go, go ahead. Uh, there is Othello, Go, and Connect Four. I believe that is Othello. You are correct. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Question two. In this game, you can be a dispatcher, medic, scientist, operations expert, or researcher. I believe I know the answer already, but you can go ahead and give me the multiple choice just in case. The multiple choice are operation, risk, or pandemic. I believe the game is a pandemic. You are correct. This is the easy one. I feel like Operation would have been a lot more difficult as a child if you had to pick a role instead of just be a surgeon. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a scalpel. right? <laughs> uh, this is a Euro game uh -oh. in which players build a medieval landscape. The options are Settlers of Catan, By the way, here's a secret that I've exposed in a previous episode. I need glasses, and uh, lights don't do good with glasses. So, uh, <laughs> do you need to borrow mine? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I got know they're the same description. Uh, so, work. so settlers of Catan, uh, mm -hmm. Carcassonne, Car Carcassonne, Carcassonne, Carcassonne. Okay, you know more than me. <laughs> and risk. Those are your options. Mm. Okay. Um. And what are we building here, you said? What was the question exactly? Uh, this is a Euro game in which players build a medieval landscape. A medieval landscape. That would be a Carcassonne, then. Carcassonne is correct! <laughs> Next question. Mm -hmm. This game was immortalized in When Harry Met Sally. Never seen the movie. You might have played the game. Let's, uh, let's see the. Let's see what the game is. Maybe the options are categories, Monopoly, or Pictionary. 
seeing as it was probably some kind of a romantic comedy, I'm going to say probably Pictionary, just as a wild guess. Game Wizard. Have I, have I been exposed already? You're correct. I suppose I'll need to watch the movie. Now. Yeah, yeah, sure. you should, you should. Next question. Mm -hmm. In this game, players try to get all four of their pieces around a board and to home. Okay. The options are life, sorry, and shoots and ladders. I believe that is sorry. You are correct. I, I don't want to be embarrassed again. I've been embarrassed a couple times for calling someone out to be a fake fan, mm -hmm. um, and, and they were really good at these quizzes, but I'm, I'm going to get you. Okay. I'm going to get you. I, I'd love Hopefully to Hopefully on this question. Are there any hard questions? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game is now set in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Mm. Monopoly, casino, or life? Atlantic City, New Jersey? A setting for a game like that? Um, it's now a setting for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Meaning previously it wasn't before. I believe that is the context, um, yes. Did we get him? You might have. Um, I'm going to say that it was... Um, I'm going to say it's Monopoly, but I could be wrong. There's a lot of different versions of Monopoly nowadays. You're correct. Good job. All right. I guess I need to play this version of Monopoly too now. <laughs> Which game features a pop o -matic for rolling dice? Mm. I think I might know this one. <laughs> Risk, apples to apples, or trouble? That would be trouble. I believe you are correct, and you are correct! Can you imagine playing Risk and having to pop the that dice every time? That would take a while, I think. Oh, well, this is easy. Which game, you won't even need the multiple choice, guaranteed. Which game features Miss Peacock, my favorite character in board games? I'm, I'm sure that's Monopoly, right? No? That's Clue. Thank you. Uh, okay. You're correct. If only. Could I walk around Boardwalk Man, as Professor Plum? That'd be I, cool. I, I didn't realize you were messing with me at first. I was like, how does he think this is enough? What's Next the question. Game? This game was originally called Lexico, then crisscross words. Buzzword, Scrabble, or Boggle? Technically only played one of these games before, the other ones I haven't. Um, you might have gotten me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Boggle, maybe, maybe. You might have me here. Boggle is incorrect. Oh, the answer God. is Scrabble, but it's okay, it's okay, just cause you're a fake fan doesn't mean you can't continue with That's this right. quiz. That's right. I mean, let, let's, let's <laughs> put, we'll cut it in post. We'll pretend it never happened. Sure, right? sure. <laughs> Make I, me look good. I'm Come not on. letting you get away with that. <laughs> Grandmasters have reached the highest level of achievement in this classic game. Parcheesi, chess, or Dungeons and Dragons. Read the question one more time. Grand Masters no. have reached the highest level of achievement in this classic game. I'm going to say Parcheesi. See, I would have said Dungeons and Dragons, but I'm not a game guy. And we both are incorrect. Really? Oh. Chess. Has anyone oh, yes, heard yes. of Grand Masters yeah. when chess, it comes to Chess Grand Masters, that does exist. That yes. does exist? Yes. Okay. I know it's definitely not Dungeons and Dragons because they... <laughs> I never played in sixth grade, unfortunately. Uh, which classic game mm -hmm. is known as 
droughts in England? Droughts, maybe? Droughts? 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 D-R-A-U-G-H-T-S. Whatever that word spells. Droughts. See, okay, droughts, okay. I'm terrible with words. <laughs> I'll oh, right, the, the multiple, multiple choice, choice. yeah. I, there's no way I know this one for sure. Checkers, Chinese checkers, or chess? Well, definitely not chess, because chess has specific pieces. Um, what were the other two you said? Checkers or Chinese checkers? I'm going to say checkers. Checkers? Yeah. Is correct. Okay. I also forgot to see how many questions this quiz has, um, as I usually do when preparing for this show. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll do a few more here. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> in this game, players try to establish and grow colonies. Cascone, Settlers of Catan, or Risk? Is it Catan or Catan? Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Fair enough. Some people say Catan, some say Catan. Depends. Uh, but the, the answer is the Settlers of Catan. Oh. You are correct. <laughs> this game, you know what? This will be the make it or break it, okay? This is it? If you get this wrong, hmm? that's three you've gotten wrong, and you're a fake fan. So I might as well walk out the door. That's right. That. Okay. All right. Well... The bet. This game, created by two Canadians oh. in 1979, had 20 million dollars in sales in 1984. I honestly didn't read this question before I gave you this uh, ultimatum. <laughs> My apologies. The options are Cranium, Pictionary, or Trivial Pursuit. Pretty sure it's Trivial Pursuit. You think Canadians are really into trivia? I think Trivial Pursuit is older than the other two games. It yeah. has a lot of additions. Interesting. Unfortunately, you're not a fake fan. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Game Wizard, thank you so much for playing. You have earned your spot on my gaming team for sure. Uh, we will be seeing you later this week to play some games. Um, but until next time, that's our show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new content. Until next time, good night, my sweet baby angels.